my biggest challenge was after I had left uh, working for Nelson Mandela, I started my own company and I assumed that it would be an easy transition. But unfortunately, the South African market wasn't ready for my product offering at that time. So after much um, perseverance, a lot of rejection, I decided to move on to something different. I moved on to a new product and the product was needed. So um, I just carried on from there. We were asked to centralize financial services for a very large company. It affected people's livelihoods. I had to move up to Johannesburg to head office. It was one of the hardest 18 months I've ever experienced in my life. I tried to identify the, the willing people in the team, identified the critical risks, the critical factors that would make us make it a success, and then tried to match the people that were willing to, to the tasks at hand and just plowed forward. It took us 18 months and probably 18 hours a day, every day, including weekends for 18 months before we ultimately managed to centralize our functions at head office. My biggest risk was leaving my full-time job and starting up my own business. I think the comfort of having a salary every month, it becomes daunting when you just start on your own. But you know, you just gotta keep going and if you know that is what you need to do, then you know, go for it. Three years before retirement, I embarked on postgraduate studies. So that's probably the biggest risk that I have taken, is embarking on studies that I had no choice but to pass. It was worth it uh, because it allowed me to push myself to places where I didn't necessarily think I would go. You find your inner strength, which you wouldn't necessarily find in a comfortable day-to-day uh, -day job. The most important thing is to have your facts, be qualified and understand the, the risk you take. For me, I believe that uh, we are all here to make a difference. And sometimes we need to, to make that difference. We have to create substantial change. And when you need to create substantial change, sometimes you need to make decisions where you need to be stronger than others. But my advice would be, let fear become your determination to make those kinds of changes. Never give up. Don't just challenge for the sake of challenge, but believe in your ability to make a difference. If you believe in, in what you want to do and what you want to accomplish, follow that belief and perseverance and determination and it will get you to where you need to be.